for everyone for staying around. It's a great event here. It's really tough competition over there, so I appreciate you uh, sticking around, especially the judges. I don't have any bribes for you, but I will buy people cocktails at the free cocktails after. Uh, so my name is Monique Morden, and I am the CEO of Lendified Technologies. I'm going to give you a little bit of background. Lendified, the lender, actually started about four years ago. They saw a hole in the market in terms of working capital needing to go to the small business segment of our uh, economy, which is huge and growing. And so they capitalized on that. And then about two and a half years ago, they realized that they needed something on the technology side. And they found my company, Mentio. We were a startup that had integrated with cloud accounting software and was doing cash flow forecasting. So they acquired us two and a half years ago, and that was the start of Lendified Platform. So we're the technology arm, and we have an adjudication platform to help lenders and creditors be able to adjudicate small businesses, which is very, uh, very complicated. Now, uh, this has gone so well. We have Van City using it. We have Touch Bistro using it. Duca uses it. We just signed another uh, credit union today, Sudbury, that's using it. We have real customers, real traction, that we're spinning this company out and we're rebranding it. So we are no longer going to be Lendified Platform, Lendified Technologies. We are now going to be known as Judy because we have an AI adjudicator that is solving this problem. It's solving the scaling of small business lending. So it takes almost as much time to adjudicate a small business loan as it does to do a commercial loan. But of course, the economies of scale aren't there. It doesn't make any sense. So we are helping financial institutions address all their legacy systems. You don't have to come in and make an appointment and bring in all your papers and the human bias, et cetera. This is what we're solving, and we have a platform. It takes about seven minutes to apply. It's all responsive design. You can do it on your tablet, uh, mobile, desktop. We use multiple data sources, addressing the data, the AI. You'll talk about our machine learning. Instant decisioning. We do multiple lending products, and we help them uh, through this whole process. So I'm going to talk about the data that we bring in. But we have a way to configure and calibrate our SaaS platform to your credit policy and using our credit engine to help lenders be able to address this super quick. So we use all of these different data sources. We have credit bureaus, consumer, commercial. We go to the corporate registries. We go directly to their bank data. We can get their accounting data. We automatically do the KYC. We triangulate from the business owner to the business, to the business account to make sure that fraud, KYC, and AML is minimized. It's white label, it's omni-channel. It can be used by the customer. It can be used by the staff. So it's seamless in that sense. We can do multiple lending products. So we do uh, term loans, lines of credit, credit cards, uh, leasing, and we're working on mortgages and secured lending. You can do it in combination as Van City does as they use our product. The big IP that we have in our credit engine is we do an instant financial review. We get the bank data in, in terms of an electronic format, direct from their account, and we can automatically calculate a debt service coverage ratio from this. We have a categorization engine which analyzes the revenue and the expenses, identifies existing loans and uh, lines of credit, and that goes into our instant decisioning, instant loan offer, risk-based pricing, flat-based pricing, different fees, whatever you have involved in your offer. We have automated loan agreements, so it's all in there and it all is automated for a seamless process and it goes into our administrative console for collaborative workflow. So whether your loan officers are in there, the appeals process, whatever it might be, we help that. And we're regulator friendly because it's all in one place, it's all standardized, it's auditable, logged, role-based permissions, uh, all of that is directly in there. So we've got all these great benefits, we have all these great clients. Our client Touch Bistro, which is actually a software company with a hardware component, is expanding into the US next week using our product to help them sell their software. They're going to be a unicorn, and we're going to help them. Uh, so we now have about, for the investors in the room, that was for all of you who need the product. Hopefully that intrigues you and you'll want to talk to me. I want to talk to the investors and the judges. We have about 65K in uh, monthly revenue right now. By the end of the quarter, we'll be at 120K. It's a huge market, especially because we're going into the US. I talked to my team about world domination, but we'll do North America first. 
Um, when you look at leasing and uh, lending, and we've got a great team to do it. So I came from Vision Critical. Fantastic, I'm sorry. That's okay, that's okay. I know, I was actually questions. so captivated by your Were speech you? that I forgot the time. So. Oh, well that's good. See, maybe that's maybe you're just tired. Exactly, no I'm not, <laughs> never. So great management team, I can see. Yes. Congratulations. Questions? Thank you very much. I'll actually let you finish your uh, team discussion quickly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so my background is I worked for Vision Critical for seven years, so I learned a lot about scaling and business. I learned what to do and what not to do, so I've, uh, I've got the scars from that. And uh, so we, uh, and then I worked at Mentio and have been with Lendified. Louise Provenot is an uh, excellent uh, sales person that we have, has always specialized in technology. Victor Comas came from Loyalty One. He's got a PhD in physics. We've got a couple of PhD in physics uh, on our data science team. We've got about six of them that are on that team are working on this credit model. Super awesome. Suning Struby was at Vision Critical with me and also at Hootsuite. She's our VP of product and we've got Joe who's our uh, VP of engineering. You might also notice that we have women on our team. Actually about 45% of our company is female, including female developers and QA and product people. <laughs> Got my fans in the audience. <laughs> Can you tell me a little bit about what differentiates your product, um, recognizing that a lot of the data points that you're speaking to are commercially available to, to almost anyone? So what makes you different and what's your key to success? Yeah, so we actually have a proprietary uh, credit engine and this was done uh, initially with purchasing a whole bunch of data back before Mentio even came along. So that looks at the consumer credit scores, the commercial credit scores. We have a proprietary risk score called IROS, Industry, Region, Ownership, and Size. Uh, we have all of the cash flow forecasting that we've done off of the bank data, so that's proprietary to us and our, our credit engine. And so we generate an estimated probability of default, and that's what's used to calibrate the system by the, uh, the lender and the FI. So it's their credit policy. We've got our engine. We layer on any of their rules and business uh, minimum requirements and gates around that. So I'd say that's our real, uh, our real USP in terms of the secret sauce. Can you talk about loss ratios versus before and after for your customers? You mean in terms of uh, PD rates and actual loss rates? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so our, our system is calibrated on the probability of default. Uh, Simon there gave a great uh, talk about the collection side of it, which is really getting more into loss rates. So that has to do really with their um, you know, loss given uh, default and, and what they're estimating there. So we go off of the PD rates, but we do have three years of data. And Van City's actually been using it for a year and a half. And so the model will operate to however you calibrate it. So we often say, you know, what are the loss rates? So the, the, the probability of default for Lendified, who's a customer, will be higher because they, uh, they have higher pricing and Van Cities uh, will be lower, so, um, but it's been accurate in terms of the actual performance of the model based on their criteria. How does your business model work? And, you know, I can see, you know, obviously uh, you're, you're primarily using the white label channel as your growth engine. Is there a marketplace at the end of the rainbow here, or is this, you know, uh, you need the banks for their data in order to be able to execute your plan? Yeah, no, it's a white label system, so it's their brand, their look and feel, their products. Um, so uh, th that's, that's the model. What we do is we charge a platform access fee, and then it's a percentage of the loans that are dispersed. So our model is not about applications, it's about actually a, building a quality loan book. So that helps the lender in terms of their operational models and being able to you know, have, uh, have you know, profitable models that are there. We try to keep the setup uh, costs actually low because for us it's all about the licensing revenue. We're a true SaaS platform and it's all about getting it into their hands very quickly. We can actually spin up a new instance in a very short period of time. It's all of the decisions, the configurability that the client uh, needs to decide. You want to double your, uh, your revenue in what, one quarter. Um, what is your biggest challenge right now to do it? 
Yeah, so, so our pipeline is very, very strong. We actually have two, uh, two big clients out there that if they both come through, we'll, we'll bust through that for sure. And then we have a bunch of small ones that are there. The other nice thing is that with existing clients, it's just ramping up. So Lendify's ramping up, Duke is ramping up, Van City is ramping up. And we also have a monitoring uh, product that we're about to launch. So basically it's you can re-adjudicate, do your annual reviews, or re-adjudicate uh, every month or quarter. Um, and especially the financial analysis is something. So there's additional revenue we can grow those current accounts as well. Yeah. Are there any regulatory um, consequences of that, like re-adjudicating based on monitoring? Uh, no, in fact, the regulators love it. We, we actually had some meetings last week with um, uh, DICO and FSCO and uh, the OSC uh, showing them our platform. So they like the idea. There's, there's privacy in terms of if you have to let people know that you're going to be monitoring their financial data. Um, but from a regulator standpoint, they, they love it. And the fact that that can be an early warning system uh, for a portfolio manager is actually a huge bonus. Thank you very much. Thank you.